Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, I want to talk about the Part 2 uh, servants coming up in Summer 3. Uh, this event started on the 12th, so that means... Sometime... Yeah, sometime pretty soon. It's been a week since basically then. I think for me right now, it's the 18th. So tomorrow on the 19th, should unlock Part 2, where you'll be able to summon for... Uh, the other summer units, so I just kind of quickly want to go over them in case you were wondering if you should still stomach or not, kind of give my thoughts about them. Of course, way well. If you end up liking this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how you're going to be rolling, uh, or if I can be able to change your mind a little bit. I actually don't want to change your mind. I just kind of want to inform you what these units do, and then you can make the decision for yourself. But by the way, do all that other stuff, because it really does help out the channel a whole bunch. And I've appreciated everyone uh, helping out with the Fake Grand Order videos. It keeps me motivated to keep on doing them. And as always, a big thank you. So, first of all, I'm going to go over here. Because this version of the wiki had, does not have part 2 yet. Because it is not available yet. I assume they'll add it pretty soon. So, go here. Summoning Campaign 3. So, the summer units that are up are Summer BB, Mysterio, Her Mysterious Heroine XX, and Maeve Sub Saber. We'll start, of course, with the Showstopper. Summer BB. Uh, this is Summer BB. She is an AoE Moon Cancer. I won't reveal the other stages, but all her stages are very good. In case you're playing for Summer 3 for the first time and you want to kind of see them for first hand in the story. Her first skill is Self -mod Modification EX. Increases on crit damage for 3 turns. Increases on crit star absorption for 3 turns. It is 50% at 10 star and 800% absorption. It's 20% at skill uh, level 1 and 400% at level 1. Uh, Odek Pork Pukwe Golden Pig Grail A uh, charges on NP gauge, recovers on HP, increases on buster performance for 3 turns, increases on NP damage for 3 turns, grants self evasion for 1 attack, 3 turns. Uh, and at level 1, the MP is 30%, the heal is 1000, the buster is 10%, the MP damage is 30%, and at level 10, it is 50% uh, NP gain, 3000 heal, 20% buster damage up, and 50% NP damage up. Um, and third skill is Faceless Moon EX, locks the set cards of Delta Command cards for 3 turns. Uh, command cards do not get reshuffled when the skill is activated. The effect is removed if a party member is defeated or command shuffle or order change is used. Gain crit stars every turn for 3 turns. Then the star generation is 5 at level 1 and 10 at level 10. Her passive skills are Territory Creation A, increase on art's performance by 10%. The one who swallows the earth EX, grants self burn debuff immunity. Existence out of the domain B, grants 2 crit stars every turn. And Goddess's Essence A, increases on uh, damage by 250. Increases on debuff resistance 25% and is 8% over in existence outside of Domain B. And her Noble Phantasm is the Cursed Cutting Crater, aka CCC. Deals damage to all enemies, reduces their MP gauge by 1. Uh, chance to further reduce their MP gauge by 1. 10% at level uh, drain, it charge of 1,000. 1, 1, 100 and at 500 it is 50%. And yeah, that is Summer BB. So, I really like Summer BB. Let me quickly also say her cards, because her Double Phantasm is a uh, buster. But she also has two buster cards, two arts cards, and one quick. I really like Summer BB a whole bunch. Obviously, some of the things about Moon Cancer is that they're really only type effective against uh, Avengers. So you're not going to be in a lot of situations where um, her AoE is going to be used on a buttload of Avengers. I think there's only really one fight. I think that does that. I want to say it's against Ushi, but can't remember if all of them were ranked uh, Avenger or not. I think it might have been like Beast or something. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Um, and it also means that she can't really fight against rulers, but it's okay because rulers aren't really a, a class you'll be fighting a whole buttload against. But even though with those like tiny knocks against her, also she has a little bit of problems with damage. Uh, so. And if you're someone who's looking for grinding, like doing a buster loop with her, I would suggest maybe getting either Golden Foad out or level 100. Obviously, once you're at that point, like, it's going to be way easier for you. But it's something to kind of keep in mind. 
Um, but the thing that she excels at is this move right here, Faceless Moon, is so amazing and hilarious to use. Because what you can do is basically lock a certain servant's kit so you can always use them. And for certain challenges, this skill is just straight up broken. It is unbelievable the kind of nonsense that you can do. Like imagine, for, so for example, it doesn't always have to be used with BB. If you're going against a, for example, an adventure type unit, then you can use it with BB because then you can have self-modification. You can have a whole bunch of crit stuff and then you can just basically tear into an adventure and it won't even matter that she has an AoE NP because it, who cares at that point? Um, the thing that's also good is that you're also stalling them a little bit by reducing their MP gauge, so that's also very nice. Um, but let's say you don't want to do it with BB and you instead want to do something like uh, Summer Saber, for example, who is big on art looping. It is possible for you to just have three turns of non-stop Saber looping. And I've done it before, where it's just non-stop like, shenanigans that what you're doing against a specific unit. Let's say you just wanted to go full ham with someone like uh, Arjuna Altar and just go like, I have three buster cards, I want to just do buster to the face over and over and over again. You can lock that in, you get crit cards, you, you get crit from it as well, especially at level 10, you can get 10 crit, which is helpful a little bit. And you can just lay waste to absolutely everything on the field. Like, I think that ability is a lot of fun to play with, and it kind of goes against, not goes against, but it's different from what you would expect from most uh, Fate units. It it promotes a playstyle that is very different, that I really like. So I think for sure if you're a fan of BB or if you're a fan of just like fun mechanics, I think she's a very good unit. Um, I think some people will probably look at her damage and go like, ah, oh, but she doesn't deal damage, but that's not really the point. <laughs> the point is to have a lot of fun and kind of mess around with her. And, and to be fair, this move right here, really good. Like this buff to like Buster and MP damage. If anything, I would say she could probably use a little bit of a buff to no she doesn't really need a buff because this skill is still really good like all her skills are extremely good the most you could say is that she needs a little bit more damage and what what could you really give it if you give it to this then you're buffing all the others you can maybe add it to self modification but 50 percent crit damage is pretty good already um so yeah and she she's really good i really like her she's a lot of fun and old statement, if you're someone who's going for her, she's definitely worth having. That's in my opinion, at least. Maybe there's someone out there who feels differently, but I feel for sure that I love BB Summer, and I have her, and I enjoy her so much. She's so much fun to use. So let's go into the next one, Mysterious Heroine XX. Um, this is her, quick, uh, this is her card uh, deck right here. One quick, two arts, two busters. First skill, Piloting EX, grants self-invincibility um, for one turn, increases on attack for one turn. On turn one, it is 30% attack, and it is 50% at turn 10. Uh, Detective Instinct E, gain crit stars, reduces own crit star absorption for one turn. 10 at level 1, 50% uh, minus absorption, and at level 10, it is 20 crit stars and 100% minus absorption. I guess reduction of absorption. Justice for the ends of the world. Ignores invincibility for one turn, charges own MP gauge, and increases own damage to against threat to humanity enemies for one turn. So our MP is 20% gained at level 1, and threat to humanity damage is 30%. It is 30% uh, uh, MP gauge at 10, and 50% damage to threat to humanity. Her passive skills are Existence Outside of the Domain B, so it's two crit stars and a little bit of debuff resistance. Cosmo Reactor B increases on crit star generation by 8%. Independent Action A increases on crit damage by 10%. Riding A increases on quick performance by 10%, which will go great with her one quick card. And her Noble Phantasm is... Uh, how do you pronounce this? Two mythical disaster, ether space yet lawful, sapphire galaxy first edition at cosmos. Okay, deals damage to one enemy, deals 100%, 150% extra damage to saber class servants. NP level at damage is 900% at level one, and it is 1,500 at level five. The charge at 100%, which is increased to her own attack. 
It has 20% attack increase and at 500% charge it is 60% attack increase. Then later on she does get a buff, which is a strengthening, and she deals damage to one enemy and it deals 200% extra damage to the Saber class, so it is 50% more. And at level 1 it is 1200% uh, 1, uh, damage and 1800 at MP5. And the no change to increase to one attack. So, uh, threat to humanity. Let me quickly look. There's some units who are threats to humanity. Let me see if we can find a trait real quick. Oh yeah, I can go right here. Let me see. A, B. Should be under here. If I'm remembering things right. Am I not? Must be here. Yeah, it's here. Okay. So these units are threats to humanity it is mainly uh, foreigner class enemies. Um, Saber uh, Hokusai. Not for sure if I'm saying that correctly, but someone <laughs> tried to tell me the correct way of saying it. Um, Mecha Ellie, Abigail, her again. I forget your name. Yang, Abby, but Summer, and... Uh, Van Gogh. So yeah. Oh, and then there's obviously like I don't want to spoil potential bosses, but there are enemies with the trait enemies uh, threat to humanity. So yeah, this is a very weird unit because she's specifically like anti saber and also anti um, threats to humanity. She's cool. I really do like her. She's kind of an arts unit. She gets much stronger later on. She does kind of have a very limited, like, thing that she's super strong against, but when you're fighting that specific thing, you're kind of glad to have her around. As you can see, there's one unit who has both Saber and Threat to Humanity, so when every time she's a boss for something, you're just going to be dealing so much crazy damage, so even though she's not an archer, for example, something that's actually anti-Saber, um, she's gonna deal a lot of damage. She looks great in all her arts. I love the stage 1 art. Stage 2 art is fantastic as is stage 3. I'm not revealing it in case someone wants to see it for the story, but they are all very good. Very good, very worth owning. And she's a fan favorite in general. People love Mysterious Heroin XX. Uh, yeah, she's cool. I like her. She does some pretty good stuff. Obviously, you have to play a little bit different. You have to play, you'd like, obviously, piloting EX. Do you want the self, the self invincibility for one turn? Or do you want to increase your attack for one turn? There's kind of like, you know, a kind of thinking to what you want to use for the skill. Like, should I use it for the invincibility and waste the attack? Or do I go for the attack and potentially get completely washed by any uh, attack later on? These are all things to kind of think about, which is actually, I think, kind of fun in a unit when a unit's not all 100% pure death. It's actually nice to have a unit where you have to think with them a little bit more. And she's not so detrimental. Like, she's not like uh, Summer Okita that actively hurts herself in a lot of ways. Um, so I think she's definitely worth having. And if you're a fan of her, then you're going to be going for her anyway. Here's the thing I quickly realized when I said, like, oh, yeah, maybe if you should summon or not. There's people who want these units badly. So I'm not actually going to tell you how to live your life. I actually do think all of them are very good, though. But I think I usually end up thinking that a lot of units are kind of good. Because you can really use every kind of unit and every kind of thing. And finally, we have the vinyl unit, uh, Maeve Rocks, Maeve Summer. Let's quickly go into her. She's got, if I change it to my swim suit, A+, charges on MP gauge for one third for tur every turn for three turns. Can crit star damage for three turns. Not crit star damage. Gains critical stars every turn for three turns. 10% NP regen and 5 star regen at level 1, and at level 10 it's 20% and 10. Second skill, eat the toilet, why honey? 60% chance to charm all enemies for one turn, reduces their arse resistance for 3 turns, 10% to minus arse to resistance, and at level uh, 10 it is 20%. Third skill, discipline of the queen ocean A, increases the party's attack for 3 turns, increases the party's critical damage except yourself for 3 turns. And it's 10% attack increase and 20% crit damage at level 1. And at level 10, it is 20% and 30%. Passive skills are Magic Resistance B+, increases own debuff resistance by 18%. And Riding A increases own uh, quick performance by 10%. And our deck is one quick art, so, you know, very good. But she kind of needs that writing because of who she is. 
two arts and two busters. And our noble phantasm is a single target um, arts, and it is one shot, my love. Deals damage to one enemy, six hits. And it has a chance to inflict a nice shot for three turns, uh, for three turns on them, backs five times per NP. Nice shot reduces their defense by 10% per stack. And your nice shot uh, chance is at 60% uh, at charge level uh, 1. And at 500%, it is a 100% chance of getting it. So if you can get her that much, you'll be getting a lot of defense down for sure. And her NP damage is 900% at level 1 and 1,500% at level 5. Uh, okay. I think she's pretty fun. Similar, There's a lot of cool things. Like this nice shot mechanic is very nice. Uh... Her NP deals a decent enough damage, N not decent enough damage, it hits enough times where it could be loopable with stuff. She doesn't really have anything that says that she could be loopable, but once you have Arts meta coming around and you have Castoria, you can definitely play around with her a whole bunch. I think a very simple kind of saber to look at, even with the kind of cool mechanic on the NP. But, you know, worth owning for sure if you're a fan of Maeve and need a single target uh, saber. You can do much worse for sure. Um, so yeah, I like her. And her arts are all great. So those are the three units. I hope I was able to help in some way to let you know what they are. Here's the actual tough part about summoning, summoning on Summer when it is rerun. Like for me, example, I've already kind of experienced Summer. But for a lot of people, this will be their last chance at getting one of these units. So if you badly want one of these units, obviously, go for them. Um, especially if you know what the upcoming Summer Servants are and aren't really interested. Um, then you can kind of go for it and go crazy. I know there's plenty of people who are like, I don't care about any of the other 5-star women coming. All I want is BB Summer. And I support your playstyle because you should be going for the characters that you absolutely love. Like, none of these characters I can think of in my mind are crazy meta defining but they are really good and they are really fun to use like bb i think is a little bit funny because i think she does break the game but not in a way that uh not in a way that's really like aoe style it's a very different breaking of the game and makes her very broken in a very different way but that's my thoughts on it i hope it helped you out if you did you can always leave a like comment tell me about your thoughts who you're going to be summoning for or are you just like me waiting for the next summer event and good luck with that grind. Oh boy, it's gonna take a it's still gonna be going for a while. So until next time everyone, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.